regions that have been introduced later on, that have struggled, that have been remote, that have been isolated from the rest of the world. And it's two regions that have to prove themselves at this one event in one or two series. And this is the first one for each. They finally get their day in the sun and we're kicking it off right here, right now. Round two, it is the 0-1 matches. You don't want to be falling down onto that 0-2. You have no lives left. They want to stay alive, move back up into that Swiss bracket. Yesterday as well, we saw from Valiant, a little bit too much respect for complexity, not willing to challenge early. I think up against a team like Power who are going to use that space. They need to disrespect them, go up, challenge everything they possibly can. Yeah, if you stay reserved against Power, they're just going to cut you up right now. And here's Torsos throwing one on the board. Great save from Sweaty. Follow up, Ampers open net. Decides to put it behind Sweaty just for good measure. And it's Power, 21 seconds in, getting the first on the board. Just quick to that one, but again, Valiant may be leaving a little too much space here. And Power, that shot from Amphis behind, I like that. It shows that he's thinking, he's not panicky and not too nervous, which has been a problem sometimes for Power in the past. Yeah, it's certainly. I, th I think he could have put it in the left side of the net, oh, but yeah. <laughs> just, just showing that he's, he's switched on and he's, he's making sure of every opportunity, every goal. And it is power starting off strong. We want to see Valiant respond well. As, as Johnny Boy was saying yesterday, he was quite impressed with this team. Obviously, Limitless have been that dominant SSA team, but it's great to see more representation and some com some competition, some competitiveness coming out from that second seed. There's another fake coming through, almost Torsos getting one through. And so far, a very relaxed rotation coming out from Valiant. Two people often going really far back, but they're making some advantage out of that. First man going, looking for demos, getting behind power, at least keeping them antsy. And Fever's done well as well, grabbing that back corner. And as you said, he is going to be the man to watch. He was a little bit quieter yesterday uh, for the player of his caliber, particularly what we've seen from him on land in the past at majors and world championships. He'll be looking to build some momentum and confidence here. Fever going for the early shot instead of the pass. And I think they'll like holding some pressure. They know Valiant. Ran out of boost a little bit too much yesterday. Their boost management went under pressure a bit off. And there we go, Torstos absolutely squeaking that one. Yeah, Valiant, the defense was just a little bit slow to get moving here. Amphis got a great beat out, but Sweaty and Willow down there just couldn't quite work out who was going to go first. Torst gets a nice low 50, dunks the, dunks the keeper. This is the biggest problem, and uh, Shogun and Johnny both mentioned it yesterday. Valiant in their own region, used to kind of being those big fish that can keep the pressure themselves, that are always in attack. Moment power and their pressure-based style where they can drain your boost away has been a little bit of a problem so far. Yeah, they're not quite being able to play their game, which is obviously going to be hard. Uh, you're not quite... Play, you're playing a, obviously a high calibre of opposition, so they really need to start... I mean, just getting to work here, as you said, it is a best of seven, so they're going to get a lot of games to get into it, but right now, power starting strong and just really playing their game. It's nothing too crazy so far. And that's the thing as well, for both these regions all throughout the past, the isolated regions, you've got to get to Worlds, you've got to figure it out as quick as possible. You can't play the same way you do back home. Yeah, it's certainly, who can adapt the fastest with so many different play styles coming through, all of these different regions coming together for Common goal of trying to win the World Championships right now. Fever, he's got no boost, but he's faking everyone out. Setting up Amphis. Going to take it high, try and get a pinch mid. Torsos is going to just throw himself at it. And this is kind of what happens, I feel like. You know, you wouldn't normally see Torsos going for that ball, but I, I just almost think knowing the opposition they're playing, they're playing like a little bit more aggressive. Oh, would have been a chance there. Sweaty does get one on target. Power in defense for the first time. A little disappointment coming out for Valiant. Uh, the one thing I have noticed in that defensive area as well, they're not pushing somebody out for a pass play. That's why they're not quickly getting out of defense, and that's why somebody like Torsos is able to stay a little bit closer in that attack. Maybe even get a play here off the roof. Gets the touch. Is that it? No! It's off the crossbar. A chance goes begging. Oh, great touch there from Squirty. He had to help out because, well, Wordy was in big trouble in net here. He's oh, trying to hold on. They don't want to go 3-0 down. That'll be... Game one all over here, Fever double, what can he do? Tries to get it on target, but we lose there in defense. Gets a nice flick as well. Here Sometimes we go. power getting caught out here, third man, perhaps being a bit overconfident in the rotations. I love Willow. I feel like he's going to be he's a superstar a in the SSA in the future. We're going to be seeing him land after land because he's so controlled. He's able to dribble when he needs to. He makes a quick passing play when he needs to. He goes for a demo. I feel like... Nerves-wise, he looks their best. Oh, leaving another open chance there. His team power, it just feels like they're 
Perhaps a little bit of an unorthodox rotation. Oy. It's an open net. Torso has had to fly across. Shot not on target. That could have been the first goal on the board there for Valiant. Willow's first chance and a pass out from Sweaty over to Willow. But Amphist is popping him around and unfortunately can't get in. It goes the other way. 50 seconds left on the clock. If Valiant want to get an equaliser, go to that overtime. They need to get a scramble on. Yeah, they've got to get moving now. Torso has kept a nice 50 through. Sweaty has to back up. He's been bumped out of the way. The fake's <laughs> coming through. Fever no boost. Not sure why he tried to go for it in that scenario. Is Again, it is Team Power looking pretty confident. However, they've given a couple of, just a few windows of opportunity here coming Great out. Here's a pass off the ceiling. Fever just so aggressive. Amp is throwing another one on net. And the rotations are just through their corner boost right now for Power. And a reset for Torsos and won't get that goal, but he's kept the pressure on Valiant for now. Sweaty has no boost, can't get to that ball either. And that means with a 2-0 uh, lead, it's looking like Power's game. Have they held on quite well, Valiant, for the last couple of minutes here. It wasn't as dominant of a game one as it was looking early. They did score 21 seconds in here, but it's going to hit the ground. Team Power 2-0, game number one. I, I'd say they wouldn't be amazed at that start from Team Power, but I think Valiant really warmed up into that game as well. Valiant uh, looked a lot better. Willu started getting, coming out of his shell a bit more yep. too. I just want to see maybe more trust. But so many times in that defensive area, they've got three people in there. Or they've got one person going forward trying to intercept the play and not think about how does it get out? How do they get that pass? How do they get, get the dribble out that we saw maybe from Willow later yeah, on? It, it's about thinking about that next step, not just about getting the clear, which is what the best teams in the world do. They're three or four steps ahead. It's like a chess match for those guys. And right now, Valiant, well, they did step up. They did improve. However, it was power getting the early lead there. 1-0 and Amphis getting 491 points, getting the MVP early. It's a, a player that we want to see step up at LAN. I feel like he's been MVP so many times in the Oceanic region, not just this year, but for the, for the, since all the way back in RLCS Season 9, his rookie season where he came second but at every single land he has been able to go to, and this is his first world championship, he hasn't quite had that ample Amphis level performance. Yeah, he's, we know what he can do. He is, he, he's clipped on kids. He's gone viral on Twitter many times throughout OCE regionals. But as you said, we just haven't quite seen it on the world stage. It's very hard to replicate, not only in a land environment, but just with the competition at an all-time high, the pressure at an all-time high as well. So here we go, game two underway. Let's see if Valiant can respond. I was impressed with their last two minutes. Their defense stepped up. They weren't giving away those easy ones. I don't want to cast a curse them, so I'm just going to say that. And looking a lot, obviously a lot better, a lot more controlled over power than they were against Complexity. Of course, Complexity are the favorites of the wild card. So that's not uh, a huge surprise. And Great here demo. we go, a chance. Great demo, Valiant. Starting to put the screws on early. Yeah, Fever was ready for that one as well, though. So. Great positioning from him, recognizing the demo could come through, and Power sort of looking a little bit more wary right now of that Valiant offense, or just their gameplay in general. We're not quite seeing as heavy rotations here as Fever goes up. Sweaty, that's great play. That's a great counter-attack. If Torsos can get bumped, he gets up in time. Amphis has to make an awkward touch, but Valiant just making Power a little bit awkward. A few times as well, I've noticed Valiant thinking that they're going to get a free play on the ball. And it's just somebody from power up to it quickly from an awkward spot that is catching them off guard. What a bump. Oh, and Sweaty with a huge save. Is he able to go in the distance? He's got the flip reset. Uses it to fake over the top of Amphis. Amphis makes the save. Is it going to go in? Yes. Willu gets their first goal. First on the board. And what a counter attack. Sweaty doing it all himself. He had Amphis in pieces there. But a great save from him. But that three man follow up. And Willu gets the first on the board. For this series. I was speaking to uh, Valiant at the beginning of the day. They said, if they're going to beat Power, it's going to go down to Sweaty. And he's already shown at the very beginning of game two exactly why that's the case. He was getting bumped in net and still found just the last Incredible. possible touch on the ball to get the save. And he was straight on the counter attack as well. A fantastic play. But Power looking to get one back of their own. Torsos looking for the bumps. He's again left a little island here for Amphis. As the shot does go wide, he wasn't too concerned with it. but. I mean, Power are in a little bit of trouble. Some great counter-attacks could put them back level pegging here. But right now, Valiant, as we said, from, you know, three-minute mark of game number one to now, they've really stepped up their play. A bit bump coming out from Willu too, because Power have been slowing down these plays right in front of net, looking more for the air dribbles. And they can take advantage of that. No, they can get to the first to the ball. Maybe a chance here for Sweaty once again, who's hit the post, but... 
There was a power defender left. One more touch from Torsos. Even a desperation move. Power in trouble. Again. That's open. Sweaty gets goal number two. Two over Valiant. Power is just not respecting him at all. They're leaving their third man. I don't think they have a third man here in defense. And Sweaty capitalizes. Who else for the MVP of the team? And all of a sudden, Team Power have to start thinking mm -hmm. about their approach. They've really messed up power on that counter punch coming through. You saw Amphis and Torsos both going for the same ball. Valiant now, they've got the secret to success. We've seen this against power before that the counter attacks are one of the most successful strategies to beat them. I love just the confidence from them as well. It's growing as each minute of this game goes on here. <laughs> FIFA has somehow got a ridiculous touch. It's just Skim City right now, back and forth. Does Valiant look like they're going to win this mini battle? Sweaty throws an infield pass. No one quite there. This could be a chance for Power to get set up. It's Amphis on the sidewall. Awkward touch. Fever, great follow-up. He's still got boost. Oh. He's pulled out. He's been called off. Shot on net. Sweaty's in trouble, but he's the man you want back there. Should be able to help him out. Amphis will go for round number two. Power missed touch. Miscued a couple of their passes in this attacking play, and Valiant have put on a honorable effort here in the defense. Willow again trying to get that one out. Valiant stuck in that back up. No boost on anyone. Sweaty with 27. It's all up on him now. Yeah, they're playing great defense, though. They're slowing the ball down, trying to wait for those boosts to spawn in. Good great pass. touch across, but Wordy gets an equally important touch here. It's under two minutes now, and Power still needs two goals. What can they do? It's Amphis off the side wall. The touch doesn't come through. Fever has to back up, and as time gets off the clock, they have to start getting to work. Willow, great save again here. Power, Ooh. Amphis is flipping out of the way. It's not what you want to see from this side. A minute 30 on the clock, Yummy. Struggle City for Power and Valiant just need to hold on. They cannot let this goal in. They have to make sure they manage those back corner boosts because they have run out of a few times. That's going to be the biggest opening for Power. This is the chance. Now for Fever, hits the backboard, gets the double. What a save from Sweaty. Another one from Wordy as well. Valiant, they're holding on. They want to tie up this series. I cannot believe the turnaround from game number one. Power getting desperate. Wordy has to track back. Great 50. Willow spawns in. Amphis, is a goal going to come through? The fake out, the shot on it's net. It's wide. Another follow-up, and it's Wordy again. It's still a chance with 56 seconds for Power, but it's looking desperate. Valiant have been absolutely world-class in these last two minutes, and Amphis's touches have been completely wide. They're overthinking it right now, Power. They just don't know how to find a way through. They're going for the extra pass when they don't need to. 38 seconds on the clock. It's still 2-0. It's still Valiant holding on with everything they've got. And when I say everything, it's no boost. It's almost nothing. But they're keeping the ball out of the net for now. They will get another one. Willow gets bumped off the ball, but it's only 26 seconds. And they know that they can hold on here. Torsos working his magic to try and get it into center. But Valiant are all stacking that backboard. They're all quick to that. And now look, Power have to back off. A monumental performance. Torsos, no boost. He's not going to be able to get the pass out. There's just no time now. Even if they score, Team Power are going to drop game two in stunning fashion. Valiant, what a performance. What a way to shut them out. 2-0, clean sweep. What a performance in game two. It brings me back to the thoughts of OCR LCS season three, season four, a new entrant to the world stage, causing massive upsets. I know they have so much passion in that region. The mothers and Greybeard, the caster yesterday, were watching them and absolutely going wild despite the struggles they're having. And now they get their first game of this RLCS World Championship. Absolutely crazy. What a performance from Sweaty off the bat here. We're going to see the, the end of the counter-attack, that first goal, but it was his save down the other end, working it up the pitch. And I mean, this is... It, it, the, the thing is, when you, you're such an underdog, the one advantage you have is you have no pressure on your back. And Power right now have to be thinking, oh my goodness, surely we can't lose to this team. And Well... They were saying, and I feel like this goes into a little bit of their mentality, they said they are going to go 4-1. They gave the one game okay. to Valiant. And, I mean, for context, they need to be 4-0 if they want to make it through this. You can't afford to be going 4-3, going close in these series if you are to win it. They are to lose it as well. They don't really have a chance to get through the main event, I feel like, against these top teams. Well, they're thinking about it because Amphis said if he drops this series, forget about the third one. He's going home. He doesn't want to, he doesn't want to see a 0 2 <laughs> matchup. So that's how confident they were going in. Or maybe, I don't know, I don't even know if that's confidence or just 
uh, just lacking the faith in this side, but I have all the faith in Valiant right now. That was a fantastic game number two. And as you said, Sweaty, he is the player to watch. He's the man that turned this side around regionally, and he's popping off right now. Power as well. Losing that game might be the beginning of the end. They do not have their coach, Jimmer, who has been monumental throughout the last four years, especially for Ampus's career, to take him to the next level. It's up to themselves, it's up to the players to reset their mentality. Oh, this is great play though, and a great shot from Ampus. There it is. They might not have Jimmer, but they've got Zaki Boy behind them, who's just given Ampus a little rub on the shoulders. And said, great shot, mate, putting it away. Look at that. Just the first touch was perfect. It was yep. almost like an O'Callad sort of, you know, half bounce, bounce dribble shot. O opposite as well to the last game of Ev Emphasis' first touches were off the mark for most of that one. Good early sign oh, coming out awkward. from Valiant, but no. Four minutes and it goes the other way. What a skibby dim! Oh, what a save from Sweaty though. Gets back in time as... Yeah, we're just seeing Power hesitate a little bit. Torsos would have just instantly jumped in any other situation, but he tried to play it safe. That's a great flip preset, though, of the backboard. Is there a follow-up? Is there anyone from Power? It's a weak shot coming through. Sweaty dives across. Great touch, however. A great follow-up. Wordy, very awkward. More bumps, more fakes. Valiant, no boost to work with, but they found a way out. A lot of Power staying further back. Weren't able to capitalize on that opportunity, but it will still be in that defensive half for Valiant. They still have to hold on. They have managed to secure the boost this time. Fever looking for the pass across, but once again, no one there to receive. Yeah, he just couldn't quite reach the follow-up himself either. As Torsos now tries to get to work. Does get a great bump. He's got no boost, but he's got to find the infield pass. There it is, shot on net. No, it is wide. Willow's there as well to help out. Amphis, 18 boost. He's got to fake this one, surely, for a teammate. He does get the delayed Ooh. flip. But Torsos went. That's got to be on target. Fever dies, but it keeps out. Trouble for power. They do need to slow down this play, or Valiant have a counter-attacking opportunity. They've missed the ball, though, and it will be more shots coming out from the Electric Trio. Three minutes on the clock. They've got that one goal lead, but it feels like two minutes of attack so far. But just again, it just it feels like power are really overcomplicating their attack. Even Torsos there, oh, here we go. to go to the side, that's no! an open net, but a word he's missed, he throws his head back as well, he knew that was a perfect chance, double commit from Power, Fever no boost, just decides to cut rotation, his teammates weren't expecting it, and we're just seeing more of these, these little interesting plays coming out from Team Power, they're rattled, another bump, it's an open net, Sweaty has to get one more oh! on, and Amphis gets back in time, that could have been 1-1. One -one. Such a close opportunity, Sweaty did all the work, but Amphis has made the save. Another chance here for Sweaty to oh, be the up. player from SSA to step up. Shot goes wide, and Amphis will be there to, to collect. Bump coming out from Torsos. He has the support on the right-hand side as well. Power will just look to slow it down and set it up. Sweaty has just been enormous so far here. It's two minutes, ten left. They're trying to get that equalised, that all-important. We saw Wordy just missed that opportunity before. It was an open net. He just side-flipped out of the way. Fever gets a great 50. This could be another one here. Gets one more. It's Ooh. on target. Oh, the squishy save from Amphis. Trying to keep that one out. He was looking for a bump, actually, on the defense. But again, this defense has been impressive from Valiant. But this time, they need to get one of their own. Amphis is oh. getting to work. But again, it's wide. How many times do you see a Valiant member in defense on the ball without any boost? Finally, Sweaty pushes forward oh, just to get 100 in the pocket. And Power are double committing again. They have so many openings, they're just Swiss cheese at the moment, but they get out scot-free. Oh, they get out in time. Amphis has had some questionable touches here. Fever, what can he do? He throws one on net. Willow dives across, makes another save. Valiant, they know how to defend and they know how to get it out. Amphis now will have to solo play this one out. There's demos Great coming time. left, right and centre, and he's slowed it down. He's getting it over one. Flip reset into the musty. Goes high. Torso has Tors! missed it by a mile. Torso, that was all open. And again, <laughs> the follow-up saved out. Valiant's still alive. Fever, what can he do? Double, no. Sweaty, who else clears the ball? Power air completely inside their own heads. More shots coming through, but Valiant holding out. Give him a full bar door, and Torsos is still not hitting that somehow. Power may look at that one as the changing point if Valiant come back in this game. But once again, underneath, Fever keeps that pressure going. 45 seconds left. Look to make up for it, Torsos, but he doesn't. And it's once again the hero for Valiant. That's what he's taking himself there. He did have a pass on from Willow down the side, but opted to take it himself. There's the fake out. The demo's coming through. This could be a great chance. Fever has to touch it to the side, but the control isn't quite there. He does get the touch. Torsos helping out. Valiant now. 30 seconds left. Under 30. What can they do? Fever throws it down to Amphis. A little downfield play on net. Goes Ooh. wide. Double whiff. In net here. Torsos the fake. Can Fever put it away? Willow again. 
They're holding on, but they need a goal. It has to come soon. Again, zero boost for Wordy, but he does look for the pass. Maybe a follow-up, but he doesn't have the boost again to be able to challenge these plays. Valiant, three seconds left if they want to get into this overtime. Fever's going to shut it down and put one more. Amphis gets that sealer. They're making hard work of it, of it, but they do get that game at number three here, taking the lead, regaining the lead in the series. But boy, it was hard work, wasn't it? They missed some opportunities. Torsos with the most open net you could ever see, and he's flipped it high somehow. Yeah, a little bit of sweat coming out in that <laughs> game, but in the end, power. I think they do simplify it. That's what they need. They're trying to go for too many solo plays. They're trying to outthink everything, but they're not playing their own game. Yeah, exactly. Just having a little word to Amphis as well. Probably trying to relax the boys a little bit. I think they're a little bit, a bit overwhelmed. I don't want to say overwhelmed, but... I don't know, they just didn't feel like that was the power that we even saw yesterday against Oxygen. Obviously, yep. they lost that series, but they certainly weren't making those sort of mistakes in those errors. But Sweaty here, I mean, he is uh, he's been MVP of the series, hasn't he? Uh, he's been so good. Love seeing that. Gets that second game. Once again, steps up here in game number three, but this time wasn't enough, and they just don't have enough boots. No, they don't. I mean, Memphis got the first goal on the board, but... Gee whiz, they've all looked shaky in the room, right? Every single <laughs> player on power. I can't really say someone's had a flawless uh, series. I hope we see, see this door sauce op uh, open net again because Amph has put in all that work. He gets a flip reset, musty. And, well, he... <laughs> Uh, he, it was, it, it was, was so like you open. were back on it the was, pitch It was so again. open, but it's one of those ones where Torsos is thinking, you cannot miss this, and he's yeah. probably overthought it. He should have just put that one in the back of the net. He couldn't find it. And I mean, I'm so impressed right now with Valiant. I'll say it. I wasn't expecting this. I thought power would 4-0, even though they said they yeah. were 4-1. But Sweaty is a superstar. Yeah, he and is, uh, honestly, people have been talking about it. Even scrims, Valiant have been kind of looking like the class team from SSA as well. Everyone thinking the super team Limitless who have won every single regional up against Valiant would be that team at this land, but Valiant looking so good. Yeah, they won, it, won the pressure off the kickoffs. Well, that's a great infield pass. Sweaty goes bang, puts the wide follow up. Emphasis is there, another shot on there, double commit from power. Off the bat here, it is all Valiant. That's going to be a terrible touch. Can Willow find it? Is it going to be Wordy? Torsos has to pre-jump, goes low, but does get a touch in time. The read difficult off the top corner, and now Power get down to the other end. Touch, Valiant do have that little boost advantage for now. Willow gets up to this one, races it, has a follow-up chance. It's going to be Wordy to it. And Torsos is there just to keep it out. This is where Power would usually link up, but again, they're so slow. Amphis has to dive from the back of the net. Great beat out again from Valiant. Willie tries to land on it, steals the mid boost from Torsos. Fever just trying to fake out the opposition here. Again, I, I've said it, I sound like a broken record, but it just feels like power overthinking every attack right now. They're trying to go for the, you know, the option at D instead of option A. They're overthinking the attack and panicking on the defense. That's why we're seeing so many double commits. And there's option A coming out. Put a shot on while Wirty is in a rough position to make that save. That will lead to follow up shots. Oh, Fever, he maybe went too far Still back open. there. Has an open opportunity. Once again, Willu no boost to capitalize. Yeah, great speed from Torsos for Sweaty there. Meets him in the air again. Power looking a little bit awkward now. Trying to force the counter attack, double commit. Bumps coming through from Amphis. Torsos throws himself at it. Fever last man says, stuff it, I'm going forward. But a Oi. huge whiff. It would have been open there, but the, the power didn't quite come through. Torsos just flying straight past the ball. I mean, how could Willow even expect that? He was playing for the 50 and all of a sudden he finds an open net opportunity and he can't speed up the ball at that point. Power looking in, in Struggle Street at the moment. Fever puts another one and guess who it is with the save? Oh, that's a bad touch though. It's a 50 straight in front of net. Wordy helps out the bumps coming through as well. Look at Willow. He's just pushing <laughs> downfield. He's got no boost at all, but he's still trying to find Fever. Sweaty goes low. Wordy trying to keep the pressure in there. Valiant have been in defense for so long, but still, they've got the confidence. When there's a Willow, there's a way, and he's looking for a way to take power members off that pitch. Halfway through this game, still anybody's at it's 0-0, and some open space here for Willow. Yeah, what can he do now? He picked up the 100, Torsos has pre-jumped, got his great dunk, but Sweaty's position, I mean, Sweaty has just been flawless. I can't speak highly enough about him right now. Another great touch around Amphis, who is ready for it, should I say, is now he's on the ball, does get it round. Willow's in big trouble. Another double commit, but these are working out in defense for Valiant. And they're usually looking for more pinch plays. They're, they're not double committing up for a, a random free aerial. Power once again caught a little bit uh, unawares of the play. And there we go, Valiant to that back corner, but that's an advantage to Amphis. Takes the shot on, goes off the crossbar. It is going wide. Will Fever be able to find the shot? No. 
almost desperation shots at this point. Oh, great control from Sweaty. He had to help out there. The demos came through from Team Power here. Is under two minutes now. Still haven't seen the first goal on the board. Power have had the offense, the pressure, and the shots. And Valiant, they're holding on strong. They are grabbing those corner boosts, which are crucial. So important. Power as well could steal away the boost at any point in time, put Valiant on the back foot, but instead they get their first push forward. In at 30 here, chances for Valiant, but a good touch across the board in order to take it around that final player in the midfield for power. Great low 50s there, Torsos. Oh, they're all getting in each other's way here. Anthus throws it off the corner, goes for the double. Willow, great touch, doesn't have much boost, has to go for the clear. The fever's there, he looks for the pass down to Anthus, but Sweaty's there, he's got no boost, but he doesn't care. He's all about the positioning. Yeah, he immediately knew that pass was going on, knows that both of his teammates are behind to cover if they do, don't go for that pass power. A really smart play coming out from Valiant, and it's looking oh, much look more steady this. and stable. Look There's a the chance, but no one there to push forward. They're playing still a little bit on that defensive side. Sweaty taking it all the way down the end there. Is, here's another fake out. Fever just throws it on the net. The bumps are coming through. It's Amphis. He is the enforcer right now for power. Torstos tries to go the low fake. He loves the 50 game. Can't quite get it to work, and Willow just fires one over the top. Fever has to make an awkward touch. She'll be able to get two on it. No, it goes oh. underneath. It's just going to be almost an open chance. Torstos throws himself at it. Can't get the touch. And Amphis is with the ball as well. It's just going to be the chance. Torstos in front of net just parries it to the side. He's a desperation dives. They've got no control over where they can hit the ball. And now Wordy with a free play. Has to get it around one member of power. Can't get the dunk on the second. Willu looking for the pass down. But it's to no one. That sets up power. Yes, Wordy was there though. Amphis is again. A little bit awkward out of position. Has to go the low 50 or the fake for Fever. Can they get a chance here? Eight seconds left. Can they do it in regulation? Shot on net. Sweaty makes his first mistake of the series so far. And Willu throws it back in front of his net. Sweaty has to get the ball down. We do get that overtime. Valiant will take that. This is the game that could decide the series. And this is overtime that could decide the series. Going to that third game for Power would be huge. Power losing to Valiant would be a mental blow. And there's a chance right in front of net too, but Torstos not willing to take the risk. A double kick is going for not again! Go. Oh my goodness! <laughs> They've double committed out of nowhere, Power. How do they keep doing this? The structure is falling apart. Valiant just couldn't quite get that on net. They, they weren't able to capitalize quick enough. But these 50 seemingly going in the favor of Valiant. This one, the first time could Fever get to work. He's got boost on the sidewall, but no, Valiant pushes it to the side. Willu does miss the ball, but gets the beat out. They're overthinking it. Torsos, he's there up in the air. He oh. can't get to one at the demos, the smoke screens. Not quite working out here for Power. And the nerves coming out for both teams. Valiant, when they're nervous, looking like they're going to stack the net. Power, not quite sure who to go, who should hit the ball. And they are panicking in their own right, though. Power will just put a shot on here. Isn't it has it? set up a goal. Torsos, though, opts to take it high. Take, play it safe once again. Oh, great speed from Willow. Gets a 50 through. Torsos, no boost. He's just going to have to do as much as he can here under the circumstances. Amphis now takes it upstairs. Word, he's there. Pre-jumps. Fakes it out. Great touch from Willow, it's going to be open. No, he gets a huge second touch. That could have been deadly. Immense recovery comes out from Willow. The Valiant still on that defense. Zero boost for any single member on Valiant. So an important clear in order to get a little bit more in the pocket. There we go from Willow, catching Torstos off guard. The last man back to try and get a clear. Yeah, he's done well, though. He's taken it to the side ball, another 50 through. There's Amphis, tries to throw it to Tors. He's back flipped out of the way. Fever. This is what he loves. He's got a flip underneath, but Wordy just challenges. He's not worried about it. Power keeping the offense on Fever. Fake out again. It's option D, E, oh. F, and Fever saved the shot. It could have been in. Sweaty has to push it to the side. He's done well. I think the defender still had it, but it could have been a much better play from Power. And there's the bump from Willow once again that'll create some pressure on that Power end. They unfortunately can't get the other way, but this time Valiant do have boost for this defensive play. They do get the clear in the demo. It is on target though. No touch! And where's that? It goes wild! It's gone nowhere. Wordy has to track back. Fever trying to keep the pressure on. Valiant hanging on by the skin of their teeth here. Amphis, 100 boost. Off the side, what can he do? Sweaty now tries to get involved. There's the bumps. This is going to be it. It's going to be Fever in the one-on-one. -on -one. No, Willow has come up huge for Valiant! Where, where are Willu? He has managed to make another save and two and a half minutes in overtime. Power are getting these opportunities. Oh, sweaty, but it another doesn't matter up against this Valiant defense. Oh, they're just so composed in defense. They always hit that last man nice and deep here. Is 
Torsos does just that down the other end. Gets around Wordy. Amphis gets a double. Tries to get one more. Gets a great dunk. Is this going to be in? Is it going to be in down the other end? No. Torsos had a chance to get bumped. Willu is still working around. The shots are Ooh. going on. Amphis just avoids the bumps. The aggression here is crazy from Valiant. Word has been an inch away from two separate goals. First with the bump, then with the play. He is starting to look a lot more aggressive here for Valiant. But this is where the problem could come in. Amphis takes it over one, over two. Willu again. Yeah, it's always Willu right now. Is two plays front post. This is very awkward. Shot on oh. it, saved out just by Sweaty. Power keeping this offense. We're 3.30 into overtime, if you don't mind. This SSA two seed is putting up an almighty fight against OCE's perhaps best chance at this land. Torsos again throws the central. Is that going to be it? Another save. It's save after save for Valiant. They need to try and find a counter-attack, a way out, or maybe just a 100 boost. Maybe anything, any kind of dribble from Sweaty that maybe came out earlier. It's been the Willow show in this overtime so far. It's going to need one of his teammates maybe to step up to provide that little extra power for Valley. Oh, what about the pitch though? Willow's in trouble. He's missed the ball. It's oh, a shot. Sweaty. Oh, it's Sweaty. Just in time. Power keeping the pressure. The demos are going to help out this offense. They should be able to get going again. Managed to get the demo just as that pass came through. So saving Power's bacon just there. Amphis is going to have to do a lot, though. He's only got 40 boosts. Is that enough? No, not up against Willow. Yeah, Willow's up in time and wordy with no boost, but he's got a little bit of momentum, so that should help out. This should be cleared right now as he does get it out. Amphis has to rotate all the way back, grabs his corner boost. But Valiant, they're out of trouble. The one thing the power have been doing very they? well here, well there's open. a massive, here it massive is. opening! And it's Amphis this time who sent it across the world! He could have just left it for anyone. I could have hopped on the controller and put it away, but he went for the double. And instead, a certain goal, a three on none, has gone white from power. You fly 26 hours around the world, go the opposite side of the globe, only to miss that one, Amphis. Well, we've now got a five-minute overtime. Is it going to any, end anytime soon? This is not what we want to see. Fever throws one across at Sweaty. I just have so much faith in him here in defense again. Doing well to just set up his teammate coming through who has no boost, but should be able to get out of trouble here. That corner should be spawning. Willow has to get back. He's collecting pads. He's happy to sit there for now. Sweaty with time, power backing off. They don't want to push so hard. I feel like at some point they've caught themselves overcommitting oh, too desperate. This is the opening. That's the shot. And all you have to do, Fever, is just make sure it goes right in that middle there. Five and a half minutes. That was the most unconvincing win from T-Power. They had so many chances. They just fumbled the bag time and time uh -huh. again. But after 5.32... Are we a meme? Are we a meme? That's a meme. Uh, this is... That's, that, that was like four open nets across this series it's, it's, so far. So <laughs> It, look, it, 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 look, it's a... <laughs> I thought for a second there we weren't a meme. Watching? I had all this hopium coming in here, and... Oh, man. You know, sure Power have got the win. At 17 shots as well, <laughs> as you'll see here. They just... I mean, I said it after game one. They are overthinking everything. Amphis could have just left that ball for anyone. He went for the hardest sidewall was double read was... and stuffed it up for everyone. Time and time uh... again, Power with a chance. This is great defense as well. It's a credit to Valiant. Yeah. To get five and a half minutes of just saving time and time again. Fever showing that frustration. This was it, a three or none. <laughs> and Amphis, instead of leaving the ball for Torsos, tries to get a double. But finally, the demo came through. They found the... I mean, if they missed that, that would have been crazy. They show the relief. They're <laughs> laughing about it. They probably can't believe what's happening. 17 shots to seven. A very frustrating series for them. And they are a team that can take that frustration too far. Against defensive teams, we've seen them overcommit many times in the past, and we've seen in this series double commits coming out. But we saw maybe at that about five minute mark, they're just like, come on guys, let's not push too far forward, let's hang back, let them come. And you could see they beat, get the, the win of the race to that ball, and that sets up the opening. <laughs> I feel like Valiant really rely on those counter attacks. We saw what Sweaty did before in game number two there, but they just couldn't quite get that opening as easily as they did in game two. But credit to them, they held on. That was a fantastic display of defense there. Albeit Power missing so many chances as well. But here we go, Power on match point. What can Valiant do? I do want to talk about uh, CJ. We see the synergy from Power all tagged up with the Power tag. Valiant, the Renegades, the Rebels, not tagging up whatsoever. Well, what's your preference there? I kind of like the tag. I think it looks mm. plain. Let us know in chat what you like. Do you like the PWR ahead? Should everyone follow that? 
in the esports world. This is a great follow up from Sweaty. And as I said, he has just been so impressive. His mechanics, the way that he doesn't panic when he has the ball, has been really top class. I really want to see what Valiant are going to do now that it feels like power pushing a little great further charge. back, but Fever too fast. Yeah, it was just Torsos being an absolute nuisance here. He landed on the ball and then just hovered on the sidewall, delayed his flip, got around Wordy, which meant Willu was all out of position. So difficult because he was thinking that that touch is going to go down from his teammate. He's at the front post, all of a sudden caught over the top of his head. Has to turn around, always going to lose that race. Yeah, they kept simple their power, which is what we want to see. Just doing the simple things, beating out each defender. You don't have to go for the 1v3 insane solo play sometimes. You just have to keep consistent, keep firing those shots on net. You'll find that opening as well played from Torsos there to set that up. I think that's pretty much the moral of the story for Power's attack is, yeah, sure, they have three players who can make solo plays, but it's, if you're all, if that's all you're doing, oh, you become too predictable. Here we go, Fever gets the bump, gets the absolute demolition on him, and Torsos finds that open net this time. Fever giving a cheeky look to the camera as well. He gets the pop over the top and says, someone just finished that one off. <laughs> Sweaty, he was left in no man's land in a 1v3. He just couldn't quite get it to work there. Power feels like that overtime was them, I guess, crossing that, that, that they needed to get over that hurdle. Mm -hmm. And now they're playing with a lot more confidence. They look good. Three minutes 40 on the clock, a two goal lead. Power don't want to stop there. They want to have maybe a, a, a real confidence booster here. For Valiant, though, they are going to fight back. They've got so much time in order to get this back in their oh, face. He goes sweaty. He might have a little cheeky one on one here. Torsos trying to track back. He just doesn't get the flick on it. Willow with the follow up can't get it either. This could be the counter, oh. but to Amphis has done that about eight times so far this series just side he, flipped out of the way he's had some of the highest highs and some of the worst moments of the series so very up and down one so far from Amphis. but wordy here Great gets pass. the pass over to willow is there a finish wordy no he just couldn't quite get it through no one was helping him either that all track back there as that could have been the first goal maybe a chance to come back great beat out torsos has to get a 50 on two Sweat, sweaty this time Obviously come forward, third man. Valiant getting the chance to attack. I'm still mad at Sweaty. He ran all the way back there. He didn't think his teammates were going to set up that goal. And unfortunately, that has been costly. Of course, you can't really blame him. Would have been an overcommit if he did manage to stay. But halfway through now, Power still have that two goal lead. Looking to pile up some pressure more. Gets the pass out across. Goal number three for Anthony. Yeah, two goals now off their own backboard or off the offensive. And here, and it was just Fever getting a nice little touch. He did get bumped, but he recovered. Got it around Willu, sweaty Dover cross. Couldn't quite get the touch, so that was wordy rather. And 3-0 now for Power, looking to lock away a 4-1, which as you said, is what they expected, what they were predicting. Well, yes, it's what they expected, but this is a, a team that have been mentally beaten Power over the course of the last six months. Uh, so maybe their expectations and their resolve could be a little higher. But, uh, you know, as, as I said, it should be a good story if they end up absolutely crushing this game, that they are able to do that against anybody. Yeah, the word around town yesterday was that despite the 4-0 for Valiant against Complexity, they did look impressive. And I tell you what, they backed it up today here. I know they're 3-0 down here and looking to probably drop this one 4-1. But gee whiz, they have got some talent coming out of this region. It is not just a one-team region, Yummy. Know I Oh, no. Sweaty has been really impressive. He was that new addition, as we said, for Valiant that took them two worlds in the first place in that final split. Um, but Willu, who has been with Valiant from the get-go, even last season when they were known as ATK Attack, uh, he was with that team. He built this new team around him. And you can see why I'm really excited, regardless of how this game and series goes, to see more of Valiant tomorrow. Now another whiff coming through. Here's a shot. Shot on net. Torstos can't get it. There we go. It's Willu getting his on the board. Uh, Torstos a little surprised there. He ran off for boost and the play. Immediate pass down from Wordy. Good to see him get involved as well. Yeah, lovely play there. It was again Amphis missing the ball, which, which has been a bit of a trend here. He's not quite feeling himself, but... Well, this is what it can happen. You only play one series each day. I mean, sometimes you can yep. wake up and just not feel it. You can jump on a certain setup, a certain PC, and you feel like an absolute boss. Trust me, I know it happened every <laughs> single game I played on land, but I mean, they've done the job so far, Power. They've got a two goal lead here still. Unless Valley can get a goal right now, you just feel like they're going to wrap this one up. Oh, here's a great chance. Fever's getting, but this could be a, 
Almost chance, but he does very well in defense. Tampas gets the big clear down. Maybe okay. chance for goal number four, but Valiant do manage to hold it out. Another shot going wide for Fever. Uh, maybe, <laughs> maybe we should look back at the successes of Power this series and not the massive misses that have happened. It's all I can look at, Yummy. Uh, <laughs> I'm a realist. A beautiful train uh, It's a lovely beat over Willow. It's an interesting series, this one. So also let's get to the start. We've got 20 seconds now. Can Valiant stay alive? Can they get a touch right now? It looks like Power should be able to lock this one down. Fever's got all the boost down the side. He's killing time off the clock. A great demo to go through as well. Amphis has flown straight past the ball again, but Fever with the cleanup crew. 4-1 Power and 4-1 in the series. That's what we cannot play him, is Fever has been striking true. But a 4-1 for power, maybe not exactly what would give them the best 1-1 one, one run, which is a weird thing to say, <laughs> try and say that a few times in a row. One, one. But it will give them at least a solid opponent, given they went uh, and took two games off Oxygen in the first Yeah, game. they've got a very good game diff out of these 0-1 sides. And now, as we said, they will be 1-1. One, one. Who knows who they'll be facing, but I think they'll be needing to step up their game in that oh, next yeah. round as well tomorrow. But credit to Valiant. They'll obviously drop down into the 0-2, but they'll have a chance tomorrow to get their first series win on the board. I still think they look so impressive. And as we said, Sweaty is a phenomenal player. Uh, he's made a new fan out of me. I mean, we've seen him around. We've seen some great performances from Sweaty in this last split. But to come out at LAN, first ever international LAN, perform like that for Willu to step up like he did in this final game as well. Great signs yep. coming out and even Wordy getting their final kind of goal, setting up their final goal. So really excited. I want to see Valiant hopefully up against an APAC team, not Ooh. up against because we could see maybe Limitless lose and that'd be versing each other, yeah. but hopefully up against the APAC or an OCE2 team, something like that. And they should be stoked as well getting their first game win on the board. I know that, yep. you know, you've got to you've got to walk before you can run. So they, they've ticked that box. They've got their first game win and now they're going to be looking for their first series win tomorrow. And power will go into that 1-1. One, one. They'll be watching the Rocket League stream today to see maybe who falls down who they might be versing tomorrow. But for now, we are going to be heading to a break. Up next, we're going to be back with Gladiators versus Team Secret.